World stocks steadied near three-week lows on Wednesday and Chinese markets bounced after recent sharp falls as expectations grew that policy stimulus by Beijing could temper some of the impact from an escalating Sino-US. Trade Conflict The DX also eased off 11-month highs against the currency basket Wall Street looked set for a stronger opening and snapped a five-day run of losses, rising 0.3%. Its rebound was fueled by a bounce of almost 1% in shares off 6 minus one half month lows following gains in Hong Kong's, Seoul's and the mainland Chinese. Assets perceived to be safe, such as the and government bonds of Germany and the United States, took a step back after hefty recent rallies. I suspect safe havens such as bonds and treasuries could be put to the test as risk sentiment shows signs of stabilizing. Commerce Bank strategist Rainer Gunterman said, one catalyst was the expectation, fueled by a Chinese central bank paper, of cuts to banks' reserve requirement ratios RRR, to boost market liquidity and loosen monetary conditions. China's cabinet on Wednesday pledged to use targeted RRR cuts, with cuts now seen as a matter of time. After lending financial institutions 200 billion yuan $31 billion on Tuesday, it soothed markets further by fixing the rate higher against the dollar, after the currency posted its biggest daily fall in one day half a year. But worries about a fully-fledged trade war between the two biggest world economies remain. Washington is threatening tariffs on $200 billion more of Chinese goods and a White House trade advisor said Beijing was underestimating President Donald Trump's resolve to impose more tariffs. Tit-for-tat tariffs would hit world growth, company profits and price stability at a time when several big central banks, notably the U.S., are in policy tightening mode. The Asian gains encouraged European bourses to open higher, with a pan-European index up 0.6% after slumping on Tuesday to two-month lows. Sector highly vulnerable to U.S. tariffs also rose 0.2%, though it has lost 2% this week. Equity futures for New York's and indexes rose as much as half a percent. At the end of the day, all these circumstances, including trade wars, have been in play for a while, and the market reacts sharply from time to time, said Francois Savary, chief investment officer at Swiss wealth manager Prime Partners. But Savary cautioned against pushing the equity rally too far, the framework is set, there is monetary policy tightening, less liquidity, more geopolitical uncertainty and an economic situation which in Europe at least we need to be more cautious about, sites on central banks The slightly improved mood lifted yields on US 10YT equals RR above 2.9022%, just off 2 minus 1 half week lows around 2.88%. Also inched marginally higher DE 10YT equals RR. Eurozone yields were pushed lower this week on the back of trade tensions, as well as slowing growth momentum across the block and a central bank that has pushed back the timing of its first rise in this cycle by several months. That has also hit the, which slipped 0.25% to the dollar, staying near two-week lows of $1.1528 hit after European Central Bank Chief Mario called for a patient approach to monetary policy. Draghi spoke at a banking forum in Sintra, Portugal, where he is due to appear again on Wednesday alongside Fed Chair Jerome, Bank of Japan Governor Haruhiko and Reserve Bank of Australia Governor Philip. Britain struggled near a seven-month low of $1.3151 GBP equals D3 ahead of a crucial vote in Parliament over the country's European Union withdrawal process. As the dollar's rally stalled, emerging currencies such as the Mexican MXN equals D3 and South African ZAR equals D3 won some reprieve. But ing analysts told clients that with the risk to trade firmly in place, we don't look for a material and long-lasting rebound in higher beta and emerging market currencies. An early rebound in and also faded, though futures managed to stay above $75 a barrel before a producer's group. OPEC member Iran has said a deal to raise oil output is unlikely. While most metals prices bounced, copper slipped back to three-week lows after data showed supply remained abundant. U.S.
Managed only a 0.3% rise from decade lows hit on fears of Chinese import tariffs SC1. Original post.